Welcome to the old horseshoe on the banks of the Owen Tangy, home of the Ohio State Buckeyes and one of the great settings in all of college football. Boy, the scarlet and gray already rocking this house. This is not your run-of-the-mill regular season game. Instead, it is a top 10 clash. One team hoping to make a giant statement. As we'll see, the number eight team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Bringing it back. They got him for a safety, and there's a fine line between being aggressive and reckless, and he just ran right across it when he ran back into his own end zone. A fair catch is called for and made just across the 50-yard line. First down for this offense. Easy. Running back searching for a hole. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Grab behind the line. It's Smith. And good blocking in space out there to give him enough room to pick up the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Fires to the wide out. It's caught downfield. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. So I love matchups out wide. I love a matchup with my wide receiver. I like my guy better than yours. Quarterback finds the matchup. The wide receiver catches the football, takes it into the end zone for six. They'll try to add another to their lead. Looking to throw a tap. They fake it, and the kicker's looking to pass. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hook. His team and they stop him at the 21. ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. Hey. 
with a first down. They'll snap it from the 32. Might as well give it to him again. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit them for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. They're trying to get to him. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Here come the Irish again, this time doing it through the air. And getting a little balance, right? We talked about how they like to be physical and they like to run the football. But when you get that balance going, man, it makes it easy to call plays, start to settle in, everything looking good on offense. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. Leaves it with the running back. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave a little bit of everything on that one. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. They'll run it on first and goal. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. Quarterback looking for just a crack on the sneak. Quarterback sneaks it forward and into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, second to goal that time, and instead of turning around and giving it to Mr. Dependable, you just let your quarterback do it himself. Up front, everybody's got to get low. It's low man wins. They're able to get a surge, and the quarterback plows in for the touchdown. So they chose to just go ahead and kick it, so they're still down by one. The kickoff team out there getting set. He'll bring it out. It's Flowers. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. After the misfire, it's second and ten. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking for a man, it's Howard. Using the quick game. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And, of course, he said the open one, but we know who he really wants to go to on third down. 
the best of them. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer, but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Line getting set on second down. Tuna, tuna. Clear, clear. Lion, lion. Running back goes in motion. On second down, he's looking downfield. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And I love taking deep shots. I think it makes cornerbacks play on us, safeties play on us. And you could tell, just missed a little bit deep on that shot. But listen, those are shots that we want to take because the risk is definitely worth the reward. Getting some heat. The freshman able to get home with the sack. And the Buckeyes want to crank the tempo. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. Quarterback now breaking the field. And he makes the grab and gets the foot down. What a job for a huge game there. Hey, man, that was just perfect execution offensively. On a fourth down like that, if you're going to throw a completion, get the first to keep the drive alive, QB's got to be great with his eyes. He's got to throw it on time. His target has to be in the perfect place at the perfect time, and you got to be able to haul it in. They checked all the boxes on that fourth down. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got them right where I want them, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Leaves it with the back. And they'll knock him down. Really nice play call there on second and long by the offensive coordinator. He was able to get a lot of that yardage back by running the football, and now, of course, it sets up a third and manageable situation. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Just what they hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards, and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down, you can get yards like that turning around and handing them off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Timeout, Ohio State. So now on second and long, you start to think, just don't fall out of field goal range. Off the play fake. Quarterback on the move, still looking. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. A really good job by the defense. They got to understand that boy can fly. So when he gets outside the pocket, I got to make sure I'm ready to go get him. You could tell he was still being a passer. He wanted to throw the football. Nice job closing under control, getting a hit on the quarterback, and affecting the throw. Pocket starts to collapse. Got him downfield. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. One snap coming before they head to the locker room. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Grabbed behind the line, it's Smith. And that is a nifty bit of navigation to get through that traffic and get the first down. will kick it off to start the second half. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Dynamic on kick returns, and that one puts his offense in business. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. 
there. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, I think defensively, you understand, like, the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass at the offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well. So you have to know where your answers are. Runs through the tackle. Got the first down and more. Just outstanding vision from the young freshman on that run. In halftime in this locker room, there's a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in the second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. And, uh, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense, or listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Trying to get to it. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback, and they get him at the 46. The Buckeyes want to pick up the tempo. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. That pass not closes. He got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot, and these teams are just struggling. I mean, the offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working. Ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. Fourth down, and they've got to get it to the next time zone, but the offense is going to stay on the field on fourth down. DB's locked up tight on the receivers. Now rolling to the left. And it's knocked away. They'll give up the ball, failing to convert on fourth. I love when defenses are smart enough to swat the ball down. Don't go for the pick, especially on fourth down. They knock it down. You get the ball anyways. Nice job by the defender. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Got it set up on the outside. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Irish have always been built on the run, but timely completions are important, like the great Tom Clements back in the day or John Hewitt. Got to be clutch, right? Got to be balanced and got to find those moments where you can thrive. It, it's always a system, it seems like, at Notre Dame where it's been built around the run game and it's built around physicality, but you got to get that element of balance to really take off and get to that next level. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. You, know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. On first and goal, Notre Dame will try to get it in the end zone. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Touch pass on the run. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. And with that one, they jump on top here in the Number second three. half. Number 24 in the end zone. Let's see if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. Back to pass, it's Leonard. Drops it just a little too slippery in the hand. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive.
He's going to bring it out from deep. Giving him his pads. Just barely able to stop him. He almost housed that baby. The nice return there. That last line of coverage is the only thing that stopped him from scoring. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. There have been a couple of missed opportunities for these offenses in the last couple of drives, Jesse. And I think for this offense here, it'd be nice to hit an explosive play, be aggressive, and really pay off your defense's effort that last drive. Instead of having to move the ball down the field consistently and then getting stopped on fourth downs, you're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. Out of the gun. The inside handoff. Looking for a crease. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. He's looking for an open man on second down. Caught over the middle. It's Scott. Crosses the 30. He's got a late. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Come on, defense. You've got to do a better job tackling in the middle of the field. You've got the lead. You know they're going to try to get out of bounds and save the clock. you just got to tackle that guy. Someone's got to be able to bring him down, but they couldn't get it done. DB's right up on the receivers. Bang. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He'll take a shot. Touchdown, Ohio State. They move on top here on the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space in the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly now, his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. They'll line up to go for two. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Looking to throw at Tower. Nice catch for the two-point conversion. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Price. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. Here come the Irish, back on offense. To the air on first down. Buys a little time. He's going to take off. This time they were able to keep him in check and stop him short of that first down. You don't get very many opportunities to finish the play with a quarterback. A lot of times they're protected so well nowadays. But when he's a ball carrier, it's fair game. And what a great job bringing the wood. Second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Get it out on the screen. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn up field for a big gainer. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. 
It's third and inches. Who can impose his will? They'll try to bully their way for the first. Just nowhere to go against his defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. And this offense has to find a way to run the football. And they got to get more creative. But whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. Oh, and I love that play call on fourth down. You know the entire defense was zoning in on that running back, thinking he was maybe going to get a handoff, but they're able to sneak and leak him out of the backfield. Behind the defense, he makes the catch and keeps the drive alive. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I know the passing game sells, the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it would be very successful. Scanning the field, it's Leonard. Setting up the screen. Across the 25, he's got room. Smashes ahead. And he scoops out of bounds, picks up the first down, gets the clock stopped, and now they're in business in plus territory. I love this running back and the job he does once he has the ball in his hands on this screen pass. He was real patient. You got to allow these 300-pound offensive linemen to sort of collect themselves and stammer down the field and try to block some of these lines. Touchdown, Iron! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. We got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. They'll need to be very sound here, limit this return, and put this game in the hands of their defense to salt it away. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. No idea what he could have been thinking to try to return that one, and they stop him at the seven. Guys, roll that offense back out there. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position too, Reese. Don't let the moment get too big. Play within yourself, David, because this guy's practiced the situation before. No doubt. Use the sidelines. They're your friend. I don't have to take deep shots. Throw beyond the first down marker so I can stop that clock for a little bit and possibly use my timeouts. He'll come out throwing on first down. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. It's really hard to dial up big completions vertically down the field. At this juncture in the game, it's the fourth quarter, and the defense is playing with extra DBs on the field. They know you're going to throw it. Ball falls incomplete. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. To the air, it's Howard. He wants a big play here late. Brings it down on the right side. Timeout called by the offense. Clock stopped with 21 seconds left. Man, if I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. He's looking to throw it. He'll take another shot here. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Timeout is called by the offense. 16 seconds left in the game. So now the opportunity to take the lead with a first and goal here. They'll try to get it in with the run. 
He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Timeout is called. Clock stops. 13 seconds to go in the game. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. He's looking to throw. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. It came down to the final quarter. Clutch plays, guys delivered, and they get the close win. Yeah, Reese, big-time players make big plays in big games, and that's what happened in this circumstance. As a coaching staff, David, you love this. You know that you have confidence in your guys to go out and be able to execute when it matters the most. Correct, and you don't know until the games, right? You don't know when those moments present themselves. How are they going to handle it? Great job handling the close game, executing down the stretch like they needed to. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.